Peter? No, I'm delighted for him because I was fortunate enough to work with him. Uh, we went to the Toulon tournament. And <laughs> believe it or not, he scored the winner against Brazil. We beat Brazil 1-0. And oh. he, uh, he scored the, the winner. Fantastic goal, but played exceptionally well in the tournament. And he's a fantastic boy. He, he's great round about the group. You know, he's... He, he loves a bit of a laugh and a joke Aye, with everybody. Yeah, you know, he's that good. type of character. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we've got to remember the position he was playing is completely different last year. He was asked to do as a left back. Usually, left backs are out in the touchline receiving the ball. All of a sudden, they're in midfield with a back to the to play really, uh, where they're receiving it. But he's worked so hard, you know, to try and do that. I think people looked at his stature more than anything else. I, I, I think, yeah, you're right. Maybe the final ball nervousness coming to. Which I no disrespect to Kilmarnock coming to play for the Celtic and Rangers is completely different in the expectation. You know, the season they had with the COVID, all these different things, completely different. And I think he's grown with it. The manager's changed it a couple of times. Ben Arabi's come in, and that sometimes puts that frighteners up. You know, you think, well, I want to be playing as well. And he's managed to keep his place, and rightfully so. I thought he was excellent last week at Kilmarnock. You know, he played really well in the game. And the next stage for him is to go and make sure he continues that in the European games. I think that's where physically... We've played against quick and strong players and they say that's a different level in Champions League or Europe, top European games. And I think you can see he's worked at his body and he's in there at Celtic. He's going to try and get stronger. The more games he plays for them, the expectation, you've got to learn to live with that. And I think he's done that exceptionally well because it's very, very difficult to play when you've had a lot of criticism. And I'm speaking from my own point of view in that. that it's very, very difficult to play under that and especially the position he plays. And you know what Celtic fullbacks are? They've got to be good defenders. They've got to be fantastic attackers. <laughs> That's yeah. the way they're expected. But he's, I've no doubt his mentality is... Ex That's why he's improved. The coaches have helped him. But his mentality is the thing that's helped him mature more than anything else. Are you saying, Peter, he's 24, he's five foot nine, so that just doesn't change. Yep. Do you think in the Champions League that his stature were, could be a factor? Yeah, because I think it's always looked upon and frowned upon. If you were looking at... For instance, you play PSV. Where are they going to put De Jong on diagonals? They're going to push him out. Yeah. That's fact. That's going to happen. You know, you see that. So other boys get away. People talk about Carlos was this and that, but Carlos was a bull. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So you're talking about all these ones, you know, so they're different um, strings to their bow, really. You know, you can't change your height, you know, so there's going to be a different physical when that's your body strength and whatever. But you mentioned the shape of his body. The shape he of his body. Got to go, you've got oh, to bulk good. up. You've got yeah. to do that, you know, because at this level now, that's what it is. And that's yeah. the next level you're going to. Mm -hmm. Scottish football's hard enough, but then you get to European level, especially at the Champions League level, yeah. you're talking about top, top quality players who are lightning quick and now wingers are six foot three and six foot four. Sure. Never yeah. mind uh, centre forwards, yeah. you know.